We love. <laughs> Hey, hi Josh. Hi Spiro. Welcome back. Thank you. Today is the second day since we've been back since the lockdown. I hope you're all being well. We've been coming in and trying to fix everything so that we can get ready for our students to come back. We're only allowed um, at the moment to have 33% of our students. So we've allowed some third years to come in just to complete their work. But come through, let me show you around what we've done. We've put up all our signs that are that we have to by the department. We've got our little stand that Josh organized that you can step on it. Beautiful. Lovely, so that needs to be sanitized. Here we have the signs that tell you what you have to do. When you come in, you have to stop right here and wait because you've demarcated the floor. And then we have the beautiful Kanisa and she has to come and take my temperature to just check. So, Kanisa, why don't you check my temperature, please? Okay, so this is the main, the main entrance to the whole place. We've got our TVs going and the boardrooms over there. Then you, then you come through here and we have all our offices. And here is my beautiful wife Vanessa and she's working at her desk. Say hi Vanessa, I know you don't like being filmed, but say hi. Okay, cool. And then we have three, here we have the admin office where we have the beautiful Bridget, <laughs> who's been with the team for many years, the longest I think. Aisha's longer. Aisha's longer, we'll get to Aisha. And then we have Tamara, <laughs> who does all the portal stuff. Is that what you do? Yeah. Yes. That's what she does. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Let's move on. I've got to introduce you to the to the lovely Sasha, who is absolutely divine. So this is that. Hi, Sasha. Hi, you. Good evening. Welcome Good. back. So Sasha does all our, what do you do? I do all the sales and I assist with marketing. So if you're interested in studying fashion, I'm the correct person to speak to for the arts. Yeah, how cool is she? <laughs> the coolest. Okay. <laughs> okay. And this is Josh, by the way. Let me show you Josh. Take your mask off, Josh. Hello, That's everyone. <laughs> Take it off. Let's see you. Okay, so he goes to all the schools. He's fabulous. We have lots of fabulous people here. <laughs> and we'll just show you everybody today, just to get you, here Josh, you hold it now. Just to get you, I can't breathe. <laughs> I, might, I might have to cheat a bit with all this down. <laughs> Don't tell Vanessa, because she'll get me into trouble. Okay, we have to wear these. So if there's students around, we all have to, to wear them. So here is our computer room where we have all these computers set up. We actually have one student over there, a third year student. Hello, how are you Musa? I'm good, thanks Musa. Tell me, tell me, are you glad to be back? Ah uh, yes, <laughs> I'm glad to be back just to get a bit of normality if I could say it like that. And to be able to be within the school environment, yeah, it's been long on for you to be honest. And tell me, what is the, the good thing that has come out of lockdown for you, and what is the bad thing that's come out Ooh, of lockdown? That's a good question. For me personally, I'd have to say that just on a personal level for me, um, what's been good about the lockdown is that I've had ample time to spend with just myself. And with that, I have come to learn new things and just rediscover me all together. And yeah, it's just, it's refreshing to find new parts of me and to embrace it. And the bad, I just have to say, not being able to communicate and have actual conversations with people. Yeah, that's been a little iffy. 
Well, that's, that's good. I'm glad some, I always believe there's a silver, silver lining to everything. And, it, and it's really good. So although this lockdown hasn't been the best thing in the world and the whole world has suffered, but I think for me, it's brought us closer to family. Like Musa said, discovering more things about you and to, to realize that life is fragile and things can change from minute to minute. So just when we all thought that we lived in a very safe world, we realized it really isn't safe and it's still not safe. And, and we all pray that things do change. And we, um, what can we say for all the people who have passed away and the families that are suffering, who have lost loved ones, it must be terrible. So I think just out of respect for them that we should all follow, try and follow the rules and wear our masks and wash our hands and do whatever we can so we can eradicate this enemy that is harming all of us in every way, putting businesses shutting down and everything, all that's going on. Anyway, so I'm just taking you on a tour of the school today so that you can just see what it's all about. How's my gloves? Beautiful. I, I wear these gloves <laughs> because that one holds as well. But what I like about them, you put on those rubber ones and your hands get all sweaty. Ew. These ones, they're breathable. So I can wear them and they look cool. And, and, and I can wash them every time. So I even wash my hands with the gloves on. Even when I go to the shops, I make them spray this and they all look at me too. I said, yes, baby. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so let's go through. We've got amazing books here also, by the way. We've got all, we've got Vogue's running back to 1980. Um, so when students do research, they can pull out any books, whatever season they want to say. Say they wanted to do um, September issue 1981. They can pull it out and see exactly what was in Vogue in 1981 September so it's really great and a lot of people are donating books to us we desperately need more books all the time so if you want to buy your books you can just contact us and we'll, we'll come and collect them or you can send them to us we have more over here these amazing books and magazines magazines in the fashion world are almost a thing of the past and it's just quite sad because I'm in 80s Student. I, was, I was at London College of Fashion in the UK from 1980 to 1986 when I came here, but that's a whole other story, I'll tell you that <laughs> another day. But even my experiences when I studied in the 2000s, it was cracking open a Vogue was important. Yeah, I mean magazines were it, but things are changing and let's just go in here. So this is, this is Chester, who is our handyman and and he helps me with like moving everything around and we're trying to sort out and here we have james 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 hey girl here we have <laughs> james james is one of our cool lecturers I... how's the outfit today give us a swirl james show him the sorry show them the heels so like we've, got, we've got amazing amazing staff here that are doing amazing things. So this is the lecture room. We've had to move the tables around so that everybody's at a safe distance. And we try and have as few people as we can in the classes. Our, our institution is not large. Oh, there's a nice sign. Lecture with love. Done by the lecturers, I guess. Who did this? <laughs> James did this. This is James. Okay. So again, everybody's, we, ha we went online two weeks before, before shutdown, so that we could make sure that our students wouldn't lose out on their academic year. And this used to be our chill area, but as you can see, for the students to sit around. We'll film it again when it all gets back to normal and we'll show you how the institution really looks. But at the moment, we've made a makeshift office for Carla, who is our, what is your title, Carla? Uh, <laughs> Head of Academic Program. Head of Academic Pro Program. And also for Keshni, who is, what is your? Program Manager. Pro our Program Manager. So they've just sat in here. This is the warmer side of the building where the sun comes in, 
and they're like for the cool kids to, to keep warm yeah the cool kids need to keep warm so <laughs> the nice thing about this company i must say is that everyone is young the old one is me <laughs> but i try and keep, yeah. shouldn't you be at home I'm sure. <laughs> <laughs> I'm <not staying> <laughs> we laugh a lot in this company there's always stuff going on this is another lecture room in here here we have the lovely Claw, who is um, one of our third year lecturers and he's also they've all been working from home so this is our first week again and we're all here working together and i think we're all feeling some kind of relief aren't we no it's much better much no. better because just so that we can chat to each other and bond bond and you know if you have a question you can just ask it you don't realize I mean, I think the internet thing has been amazing. Like I said, our students have stayed online without actually losing anything. And our lecturers have been amazing at what, how they do their videos, pattern making, sewing. Have you done sewing videos? No, it's not mm -hmm. Pattern videos, yeah. Pattern videos, all sorts. So, I mean, it's really cool what they've done. In fact, there we have Mom Albisi, who is a third year student who has come in to work on his collection and there he is, he's working with Hi Manwa So he, his collection is recycled denim, isn't it? And hand painted, so it's all recycled, hand painted by Mama BC He is one of our bursary students um, That's what a lot of our students do here is the ones that can come to the Rikati Fashion Institute will raise money all through the year to help the students, previously disadvantaged students, to be able and to give them the opportunity to study here. And Mama Bisi has done really well, he's in his final year. And we're dying to see his collection. Thanks, Manuel. Let's go, let's go, let's carry on. This is another room, we call it Studio 9. It's a more sort of relaxed room. So we want the student to lounge around and just have their laptops or their iPads on, on their laps. And to take in a lecture where the lecture can also sort of lounge around and speak to them. So it becomes a more formal but informal situation of learning. It's an experimental room. And then and now I've just gotten, I just got these today. I have to show you, Vanessa ordered them. They're all for the online teaching to show what we're going to be doing. So this is, this is the whole thing, it's going to be set up with TVs. And again, because we can't run fully as we are, so we've got two of them. So I'm going to be setting one up in here later today so that the lecturers can use it with the whiteboard and the TV and this films them so it's a little bit more professional and sound and can help them because still a lot of the a lot of the classes are going to be online we're trying to have only for maybe this year only the really practical classes where they have to work on these industrial showing machines because most students don't have these at home and thank goodness that our sewing classes we've moved We've been able to move that to the fourth semester so we're doing all other classes and subjects uh, by the internet so it helps our students so everything has been rearranged and so that we we are legal and we're able to run the place normally these are the tvs that had to go to our basement storeroom and get them take them out and set them up so I'm going to be setting them up with Chester who's my handyman and helps me do all these things say hi Chester hi <laughs> <laughs> so Chester has come all the way from Cape Town but we'll tell you Chester's story another day because I promise you everybody here has an amazing story this is Monobisi art correct? oh uh, yeah this Monobisi who's a third year student did these paintings for us this one and this one here which we think are awesome and he even signed it and he donated it to the school and we've, we've put it up so 
This is also actually a student chill area, but we've moved in two big cutting tables for the moment, and we've demarcated them so there's only three people at this table when they're working. They're not allowed to, so social distancing is very important. But they're not allowed to, so we've marked it like this, but usually this is sort of a lounge area, student lounge area. Okay, so this is how we've been doing our interview. So I just want, I'm doing an interview now for a future student. Unfortunately, we used to be able to see them personally and they would bring in their work so that we could evaluate it and to see whether they were, had, were talented enough uh, because we're quite selective. Every year we do about 500 interviews. I mean, last year we only accepted 72. So it's not about the numbers here, it's about the quality of people that we try and pull in. We're trying, like I said, to create leaders within the industry. So it's really important. I only want the best. Um, so I've got my little setup here and I'll just go through it with you. Obviously my mask is here, but now I don't have to wear it because uh, we're in the boardroom. I've got my juice. <laughs> I've got my fisherman's friends because when you talk so much, I get an itchy throat and then I start coughing and spluttering. It's, just, it's not professional. Or hygienic. Or hygienic, <laughs> yeah. Um, so this, this is a young guy. He's, I think, in the last year of his high school. Um, thank goodness we've heard the, the government has said that all um, final year exams will be written so they will get their high school certificates so we can carry on with our enrollment and they're not rolling it over into next year. In South Africa, school, um, schools run from uh, February through to November not like Europe where this, the, the school year begins in September. Um, this is because of our different weather pattern. And in December, as you know, our summer is in December. So Christmas is on the beach and we usually all go to Cape Town or to Durban or to any, many of our wonderful beaches that we have or seaside, coastal towns. So most of our students will go on holiday then. We do have a holiday in June and July and sometimes spilling over into August, which is a longer holiday because we need to accommodate a lot of our students want to travel with their families to Europe in the summer. So we have to accommodate for that as well. So this is Cole and I'm going to call him now. He's filled in a questionnaire, um, Sasha, gets them to fill that in or on, uh, on on our website. Am I correct? On our website? Yes. yes. And there's all questions that they have to write, an essay, they have to do drawings for me so that I can evaluate. And then Cole has been so sweet. He's, he's labeled it as I so that I could, I could <laughs> know what it is. And mouth so that I could know that is a mouth. So, Thank you, Cole. That really helps me. I will tell him that when we when we go online to talk to him. So I'm going to dial him up now and see see how he, he doesn't know he's being filmed. But we'll ask him after if he doesn't mind. So because we have to get permission from everybody before they film them. So let's let's just try Cole. Okay, it's ringing. <laughs> Come on, Cole. Hello. Oh, there he is. Hello, Cole. Hi. How are you? Good, thank you. Uh, you're speaking to Spiro Bidioti. I'm the head of the institution, and I welcome you. So, tell us, Cole, why fashion? Cole, Cole, can you get closer to the mic because you're like breaking up? 
Much better. Okay, I need to tell you something as well. You are being filmed um, as we are doing a YouTube channel on the institution, which we're going to be airing. Hopefully, this is episode one. So we will hopefully be doing many episodes and continuing. So if you're okay with us filming you and featuring you on our channel, that would be great. So you're cool with it. Okay, so let's carry on with the interview. It looks so weird the way the camera is. I don't, I really don't, I don't get this yet. But anyway, just to tell you that we have evaluated Cole's um, application. It's not just up to me, like I said earlier, there's, there is a whole panel that will look at his questionnaire and then I, I just do like an interview and have a chat with him and then I give the panel feedback on what he said and, we'll, and, and then we discuss him and then we look at the drawings that he did send for, to us to have a look at and then we phone them back once we all reach the consensus that this person is, is talented and we would like to have them here we then call them back to accept them but i do like to wind them up before i accept them so um i'm about to call him now and let's see how it goes okay so let's see usually we do this all live i mean face to face but cole hi um unfortunately cole i do have bad news for you um, I'm really sorry to tell you that um, you're gonna have to leave this Be because you have been accepted here. <laughs> Are you happy? I'm very happy. Yes. This is really bad. So this is this is the beginning of your dream then? Yes, yes, absolutely. Okay, cool. Oh. So everybody was really happy with your questionnaire, with the feedback that I gave them. Um, that you're such a diverse, interesting character. We love your hair and your look and your passion and your drive. And that is exactly what we're looking for. Um, the fashion industry is not just run by designers. There are many career opportunities within that uh, That you can express yourself that you can be who you want to be and We like that you are different. We love that about you Thank you. Okay, you're gonna absolutely love it here All right, all right. I'm so excited. Cool um, and, uh, What, what? I dropped out of the university You did? Oh my god, you dropped out of university today. <laughs> what would you have done if you had said no? I tried my luck elsewhere. I tried my luck elsewhere. Okay, well, congratulations, you're in. And Sasha will be sending you all your documentation, your acceptance letter. We are inundated with applications, so um, to be fully accepted, you would need to pay the deposit, which is a certain amount. You'll see it on your application letter, uh, your acceptance letter. Do that as soon as you can, so to avoid disappointment. Okay, we are really, really nearly full, and we've been inundated with people wanting to come here. And I'm sure, and hopefully, when we go onto our, our YouTube channel, you will follow us, like us, share us, and be part of us here on episode one. Well done. And you're part of a team. Well done. Thanks. Okay, oh, Cole. Okay. Oh, one more thing, one more thing. What we're going to do once um, this, our whole lockdown is over, we're going to organize an open day for all the students that were accepted online to come in as a meet and greet and to show you around the institution so when you do come in next year you're all ready for us okay 
Okay. Pleasure. Cool. Enjoy the rest of your day and stay safe. Okay. Cool. Okay. Cheers, Cole. Bye bye. Bye. Cole looked happy. I'm really glad. He's quite special. He's really special. He's, he said he was studying uh, uh, something medical, I think. So for him to have such a huge career change must have been quite difficult for his parents to accept. But what's important is that you do what you love. I love what I do. For me, my job and my career is so diverse and so different. And even today, when I speak to you, I mean, now we're doing like our first YouTube season one, episode one of the life here. This was spontaneous today. And I thought, let's just do it and see what happens. So hopefully this grows into something amazing. Your support will mean a huge amount to us. And we want to hear from you, your questions. Uh, if you'd like to join us, to be part of it subscribe you can press on the bell so that you can get notification of the next episode so that you don't miss anything and every week we're going to be trying to put up new and different content of whatever happens here and we a lot happens but we're not sure what happens like so keep watching us Okay, so this is, I don't know if I, Apia is another lecturer, and he's using my workroom, he's at the moment doing a class, but we'll just film him, he is such a wonderful person. He's a fish in, what's it in the fish yeah. tank? <laughs> he's in the fish tank, that's where my workroom is, which is closed down now, I also have a couture business, where we dress like very fancy people, but at the moment nobody's making dresses. <laughs> And no one's got a party to go to or a function, so we've shut that part of the business down. Which is quite sad because it's been going for 35 years and hopefully we can get it up and running. We haven't been able to ask our machinists to come back, so we're hoping, we're hoping we can get some orders in and we can start moving. We're on level 3 at the moment. so. We are now allowed to move around. We're allowed to buy alcohol for the first time because alcohol got banned. Uh, not that we encourage it in the, in the <laughs> university, but, but also cigarettes. They banned our cigarettes. My wife smokes and she's been so aggressive to me. Helga. <laughs> she's, she's turned into Helga, but I know how to handle Helga, so it's okay. So hopefully that, but they, they were supposed to live, live level three, banning up the cigarettes in level four, and then they changed their minds. And all the smokers in South Africa are going crazy. And goodness, I gave up smoking a long time ago. <laughs> so let's just see if we can barge in on it here. I have to be a bit quiet. Oh my okay. word, look. Hi. Amber, do you want to say hi to you? Yes. <laughs> you mean? So oh, but the camera is not on. Put, turn it to put yeah. the camera on. And do it, babe. Ah, uh ah, -uh, stop it. That's not allowed. So we're busy having an online class, and she's just getting feedback, getting ready for exam. Oh boy! <laughs> <laughs> but we've got to show. Can we show them your outfit? Will you stand up for us, Adia? Okay, I'll stand up while. Amber puts on her camera. Yes, Amber. Working, walking, and working in here are not easy. Hi. Hi. <laughs> you pan. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Look at those Shall babies. Oh my gosh. We're doing it for the girls. It's not easy walking in the ladders. <laughs> <laughs> so this is my workroom. Is Amber on? She Where's is Amber? on. Where's Amber? Say, Where's Amber? Hi, Amber. <laughs> Can you see Spiro? <laughs> We've disturbed you enough. No problem. Thank you, Bia. Please, Bia. Out of order. Out yeah, you're like out of order. I should have put on my mouth. <laughs> yes, you're all in trouble. Don't let Vanessa see it. <laughs> okay, so this is another one of the classrooms again. Again, all the tables have been demarcated. All the machines, we have left 
we leave one facing the right way, one has been turned, facing the right way and turned, so that the students have social distancing. And again, there's only two at a table in here, and there's only a certain amount of people that are allowed in here at a certain time. These are all our, our dolls. We have beautiful mannequins that, we, that fit beautifully the clothes. And we have great equipment as well. We have professional irons, overlockers that will help do the work. I put the mask on, then I take the mask off. <laughs> and this is another area again. The, school, the university is quite big, so we're not going to show you every room, but it's 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 quite big and. This is also usually used as an open chill area for students where they don't have class but they want to get on with work, they can come into this area and they can work on their garments or on anything they want to work on. We do history, research, there is internet 24-7 so wherever you are you can be on your phone working. Um, we have a bit of a fabric library over there. So that when they do a, a project and they need fabric swatches or they want to, to see which are different fabrics, they can come and just sort of get inspired from here, see different textures, colours, weaves, so it helps them. And then we just have a small little office down here where we keep Aisha, who is um, I think one of our oldest employees, she's not an old lady. When we started the university, we, were, we had three students. Vanessa and I started it. We had just three students, and um, Aisha was from our second intake, where we had nine. And it's Meg Claude, and that's a lovely Aisha. <laughs> what are you doing? <laughs> Aisha, take your mask off so everyone no. can see you nicely. No. <laughs> <laughs> what are you filming? Hello, Aisha. So, what we're filming, Aisha, we're doing a TV program oh. once a week on YouTube, and it's we're filming what happens here every day. So, we've all come back. This is our second day. How's it been with, for you for lockdown at home? It was nice being with my dog. <laughs> oh, yes. She's got a cute. Labrador by the name of Gucci mm -hmm. who gave us all heart failure just before lockdown and had to have a crucial crucial operation which is some in the back knee that came apart ripped apart and she was hysterical and Sarah and took me to the vet <laughs> I took her to the vet and I forced her to do the operation and I'm really glad and I've thought about it a lot of times I thought I'm really glad I made her do that because if we hadn't done it the dog would have been suffering till today. And luckily you could spend the, the time with her so that she can recover better. How's so, Gucci now? She's still lumps, but she's still healing. Good. But much better than she was. Yeah. No, we we, we love Labradors. I, I have three Labradors. I have <laughs> um, Harvey, who's black. I have Bentley, who's blonde. And I have Oliver who's brown, so I've got the full set. So I know, and we've been through the crucia up on both knees with Oliver, so we know what Aisha was um, worrying about. I have to call. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks, Aisha. Thanks. Bye. <laughs> what a lovely program. Oh, okay, sorry. <laughs> Wherever you go, Chester's in the video. Hello, Chester. Hello, how are you? <laughs> so this is our little kitchen where we do everything. We have quite a few parties here whenever there's somebody's birthday. So this kitchen, amazing stuff comes out of this kitchen. Maybe maybe we'll, we'll have a party when, when we come back and we'll film that and you can see once everybody's... Once lockdown is over, I think we have to have a huge party once the world returns to normal. So this is our institution running left and left and right with classes all the way down 
we actually are expanding. We've taken, I'll take you through quickly to show you that we are moving to the other side of the building as well because we have been inundated with people wanting to come and join us. We try and um, be a specialist institution where we we don't want huge classes. It's very much attention to detail and to the student and to create leaders within the industry. Um, like I said, South Africa has amazing talent and what comes out of here um, is amazing. So it is on an international level. We um, have worked quite a bit with Parsons New York with a few of their faculty members that have given us ideas and that's been really great so that we can develop our content and we, we're constantly being in touch with what's happening at the moment we are of course thinking every year we have this big graduation fashion show where all the students show the, the, the final students show their collections but I don't know how it's going to be this year. We're waiting to see what is shown in New York and how they show it at uh, Fashion Week or in Paris or Milan and hopefully get some ideas. We do have some ideas of our own. Um, we've requested from the, from the management of the building if we could use, if we could use for the fashion show this whole parking lot where we would ask people to drive in their cars and sit in their cars and have the show all on the roof while everybody's while the models walk around quite spaced out against social distancing but that's just one idea that's in the pipeline but we're going to be brainstorming that we'll film that as well so that you so that you can see what, how we do it and how we end up with the end result so we'll take you through the whole process of what happens here. It's usually, I don't make all the decisions. Um, I don't like making all the decisions. I like to have a discussion with everybody and run it by them and brainstorm. So we're gonna have a whole brainstorming meeting of what we're gonna be doing with the show. Because with our show also we try and raise money. We've had a big wine company, KWB, uh, Wild Africa Cream was a huge sponsor last year. And they were gonna like double the event and sponsor more this year. But as we know with the shutdown and alcohol being not allowed to be sold, I have to put the mask on, if I'm going out to show you the other side, then I don't know if they're gonna be able to help us this year. So we have to think out of the box and think creatively, which is, it only, makes us think harder and come up with better concepts and better ideas so there's like I said, there's lots of people here with lots of ideas this is our i didn't show you the boardroom this is the boardroom which is going to change it's going to become an office once we do our extension we were supposed to have done it before lockdown but because of lockdown we couldn't do that this is my couture business fitting room which is now also everywhere is a storeroom at the moment because we're shifting things all around. This is some of the ready to wear stuff, and this is some of the couture stuff that we that we make. And so yeah, this is this is what we do. Okay, let me take you. Let me take you. Follow me. I'll take you to the other side. Um. So this is where we came in. And so our plan is we are we have organized to take this whole wing. This will be a whole glass front and our new reception will be in here and my work rooms at the moment there's doctor's rooms on the left and on the right and an eyelash place there. So this is all going to be demolished new floors, windows, signage, everything's going to change. So then this whole section becomes ours. We have our own little runway here as well that we could do our show in the evening if we have to go 
So there's many ways that we've thought of doing the show. It's like film it, and then Josh is amazing at editing, and he's going to edit this whole video. Um, so that's us. Um, you haven't met Lily. Maybe you'll meet her in another. I think she's been hiding, but Lily also helps to keep the place clean and tidy. And there are a lot more lecturers there. A lot of them are, like I said, working from home. But they will be coming in and you will we'll slowly introduce you to them. And you can, they can tell you their story, their background, their education, and how they ended up here. Josh, I've known since 14 years old that he wanted to. <laughs> There's Josh, looking lovely. Since 14 years old when he wanted to be here and we made him go back to school to finish his <laughs> high school and then he came and joined us and he hasn't left us since and we're it's nine years now <laughs> nine years gosh that goes so fast okay well thank you guys i hope you enjoyed that i hope it gives you an insight we'll be doing more and more as we go along this is our first episode wear your gloves wash your hands wash your hands and stay safe What is it? It's a grasshopper! <laughs> Where's Sasha? <laughs> she ran away. Oh, shame. It's not oh, yeah, a It's not She's bad. put it on her chair. No, no, no it's not a Is it a grasshopper or a cricket? It's a cricket. But free him. Ah, <laughs> no, you missed him. He's there. You're he blind. He jumps. He jumps. Well, he's a, he's a little grasshopper. Spirit, get him. Sasha, it's gonna. Oh, but don't squash him. No, I'm not squash. Look, here he is. He's trying not to hurt me. Yeah. Yeah, this side. Here's our little friend. It's actually a little cricket. We're gonna set him free because we don't hurt any creatures. So. Oh, it's a bee. Hmm. It's a cricket. He's happy. He's happy. <laughs> He's on the ledge. Yeah. Okay. What is that? A grasshopper. Oh. <laughs>